All right. In this video, we're still in linear transformations, but it's it's a little bit different, I guess. Not not too different. And so the, the linear transformation problems then, besides the show that this is a linear transformation or show that this is not a linear transformation, the other type of problem we get is uh, find the matrix of a linear transformation. So that's what this section is going to be on. It's going to be find the matrix of a linear transformation. Okay. And how do we do this? Well, there's three types of problems. In this video, I'm going to first uh, focus on the first type of the problem, uh, which is this. Uh, you're given two vector spaces and a map T find the associated matrix with T right and we're operating under assumption that we, we have standard bases which means that in my input vector space, I have a standard basis, and in my output vector space, I have a standard basis as well. Okay, and how do we do these types of problems? Well, these, these guys are actually pretty simple. The idea is C, so the solution then is to see where the basis vectors go. Alright, so we want to see where the basis vectors go. And let's look at an example. So example is, let's say I have t of a plus bx is equal to 2a minus 3b plus b minus 5a x plus a plus b x squared. So that means t is taking something in P1R and it's sending it to something in P2R. Okay, so I kind of wrote it backwards. I wrote the name, uh, uh, I wrote what the function was first or what the map was first and then I wrote like uh, the name of T and then you know the input and output vector space. It doesn't matter. Um, you only need these two lines to really tell what's going on uh, in these types of problems. Okay, so the idea then is to see where the input vector spaces go. Um, and so first we gotta define the dimension of the matrix. So first we wanna find the dimension of T, right? Because uh, T is a matrix. So how do we do that? Well, we look at the dimension of the input vector space and this is two, right? And how is it two? Well, here, right, is a constant term. Here's an X term and so you got two bases, right? Their standard bases um, is going to be the constant and then it's going to be the x, right? And so one comma x is going to be your basis for uh, P1R. And then for P2R, right, the dimension of P2R is three. And again, this is this is in a table in the textbook. You should have covered it for 4.9. I know I will cover it definitely. Um, is it 4.9? 4.7, whatever. Um, Okay, so the input vector space has a dimension two, the output vector space has dimension three, so that means this matrix is three by two. All right, so the input vector space uh, comes second, and then this output vector space, let's do a different color, right, has dimension three, it comes first in the dimension. So this matrix uh, of T is three by two, Okay, and what does this matrix look like? So step two then is to find the matrix. All right, and how do we do that? Well, we want to see where the we want to see where the standard bases go. So, what's the standard basis for uh, P one R? Again, this is I mentioned this before. It's one comma x, right? So now. I need to find where T1 goes, right? So that means I plug in one for B uh, for A, 
and 0 for b, right? So up here, right, a is 1 and b would be 0. And that's how I get t of 1. So that means I get 2 times 1 minus 3 times 0, which is 2, plus b minus 5a, so 0 minus 5, negative 5x, plus a plus bx squared, which is plus uh, x squared. Right. And, okay, so this is, let's write it better. This is 2 minus 5x, minus 5x, plus x squared. And, okay, so that's what a is. Uh, or t of 1 is. Now we need to find what t of x is. Okay. So t of x is going to be, uh, okay, t of x is then a is 0, b is 1. All right. So here we get negative 3 plus b minus 5a, 1 minus 0, so 1x plus 1x squared, right? a plus bx squared. And so this is negative 3 plus x plus x squared. Okay, what do we do with these guys? Well, our matrix is 3 by 2, right? So our matrix of t is 3 by 2. And I'm going to use black. So our matrix is 3 by 2. And what do I put? Well, okay, here, uh, I need to put, to make this easier for us, we're going to write the basis of uh, our output space. So let's do it in purple to keep it consistent. Basis of P2R goes here. And for polynomials, I usually do 1x, x squared, right? I go from the constant up. Um, you just need to be consistent with what you put, uh, and this, this, this. Usually, I, I will do it this way. Different professors do it different ways. Okay, so my base is going to be one x x squared. Down here, I want to put what t of one is, and then what t of x is. Okay, and it has to be in this order: t of one, t of x, because my basis for p uh, p one r goes 1 and x, right? So if you go 1, x, x squared, then here you have to go 1, x, and etc. Okay. So what is t of 1? Well, t of 1 is 2, right? t of 1 is 2 minus 5x plus x squared, right? 2 minus 5x plus x squared. And oops, that should be a 1, because it's 1x squared, right? Likewise, t of x is negative 3, 1, and 1, okay? And where does that come from? Well, here's negative 3, here's 1, and here's the other 1. And there you go. You have your, um, yeah, you have your matrix, uh, that uh, is the matrix of the linear transformation. And so why does it have to be three by two? Um, it's three by two because of this. So look, your matrix is, all right, your matrix is two, negative five, one, negative three, one, one, okay? Well, you wanna write multiply. This is a three by two matrix. Your input vector space, right, is P1R. Okay, P1R. Um, and remember, we like to like decompose, uh, we like to decompose polynomials, matrices into column vectors, right? So now I'm gonna take a column vector that's two by one, and therefore I'll get something that's three by one uh, when we do the dimension things, right? Two cancels, so you get a three by one matrix. Um, and yeah, so this is why the input vector space uh, or the matrix of transformation is going to be uh, the dimension that it is shown right here. And just to check, right, we plugged in one. Well, what is one? Well, one is one zero, right? And so 
this essentially gets me two, negative five, one, which is exactly what I expected from up here. And so, again, um, this is how you find the matrix of linear transformation when you're given two vector spaces and a map. So green and purple and my map T and you're given standard bases. So you're in this problem, they don't tell you anything else about the basis of P1R or P2R. So you just assume they're the standard bases and makes these problems pretty simple. The problem comes when you're given different bases. So uh, in your input and output vector spaces, and that turns into almost uh, a linear transformation plus a change of basis problem. But I'll get to that two videos from now. There's an intermediate uh, type of problem that I want to get to first.